Um, but for the most part, if you're feeding a quality food and she's maintaining good body weight and we're, we're really helping those puppies develop into that third trimester and increasing food, then we're looking pretty darn good. What's going on everybody and welcome to another Ask Lone Duck or Lone Tigre for this uh, quick video. Uh, we got a great question and it is about exercising a pregnant female dog. Not really asked that much so it's kind of cool, really interesting. But quickly first, click that subscribe baby. We appreciate you. We know it. I uh, hope you know it too. So let's talk about pregnant dogs, female dogs. I personally, I do, I, I keep them in shape. It's really important to have a, a female that is an athlete to deliver her puppy safely. If a dog is overweight um, or doesn't have the cardio, they're gonna have a lot harder time delivering those puppies. So that endurance and that athleticism and that physique uh, of an athlete is gonna help them through all the contractions, all the deliveries of, it's really taxing. Um, so having that kind of physical shape is important. So um, I do exercise them. Now, I actually don't change too much training wise for like the first four weeks. Dogs are, uh, roughly eight weeks in, in pregnancy where the, where the puppies are growing. Right. So I think it's 63, 64 days. Don't quote me. I'm not a scientist, but maybe 64. That's ringing a bell up in the old noggin. So I would say for the first four weeks, I really don't change a whole lot. They pick up marks, they swim. Um, they are doing the deed. Now I will say I don't put them in dirty water. Dirty water, now dirty water, what does that mean? Swamp, nasty, nasty, nasty. There is a possibility of a disease called pyometra and that's nastiness getting up in there and it creates an infection, it's not good. So maybe some vets would say don't even swim your dogs. I, I have, uh, you just gotta be smart about it and where they're swimming and, and keeping an eye on this female dog throughout the pregnancy but I do exercise them. They're doing everything. Now, as they start to develop, if you will, I'll start scaling that back from physically demanding marks where they're running and jumping and lunging and possible snaggly sticks and whatnot. And I'm gonna scale it back to four-wheeler rides and hikes and still keeping them active and all that good stuff. But I'm not making them pound it out. Um, but I want them to stay active and I want them to have fun. They shouldn't be just stuck in a box or stuck in the house. Let them stay active. It's gonna help with the delivery. And again, number one thing is nutrition and keeping that body weight level. As the dog develops through that pregnancy, we're gonna want to probably increase food. So I don't know the ratio, but I'm, like that third trimester, basically, I'm going to start increasing the food. I'm not changing the food. I'm not adding a whole lot of supplements. Some people do folic acid, folic acid. Again, not a scientist. I don't know how we pronounce it, but folic, folic acid. And we can add that to the, to the dog's diet. Um, but for the most part, if you're feeding a quality food, and she's maintaining good body weight and we're we're really helping those puppies develop into that third trimester and increasing food then we're looking pretty darn good so keynotes keep them athletic fat dogs have a hard time delivering puppies and increase a little bit of that new, good nutrition towards the end of the pregnancy and then once the puppies are born keep that level up. Uh, she's burning tons and tons of calories, feeding these puppies, caring for these puppies. So keep that up. So hopefully that answered your questions. Again, click that subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. And until the next episode, we'll see you next time. Uh -huh.